This is Susan from the Graceful Lily Market and this is part two of my haul when my kids came over for almost a week to visit the house. Okay, so I continue to thrift more clothing. So I bought this Lacoste, Lacoste. it says size six and this one is in from France. So I'm thinking it might be vintage, vintage or they still make, I think they still make them. I don't know if they're from, it's just a blue long sleeve, um, you know, polo. And there is the alligator. So size six, I don't know what that means in Lacoste. And uh, according to the tag, it's an extra large. So I paid $5.99. So I bought this, my daughter's boyfriend likes the Green Bay Packers, so it might go to him. And it looks pretty new. I usually pick up stuff that looks pretty new. Well, I always pick up stuff that's pretty new. So this was $3.99. Trying to figure out what the color of the week was, because I keep looking at yellow. It might have been half off or $1.49, I don't know. Don't remember because these bags have been sitting here. Now I bought this because it's fine cashmere, hundred percent, and it's club room. I don't. I have another one listed, a blue one, but it's not a polo one, and um, it's from club room, but ch from Charter Club. This one just says club room, and it's really soft. It looks like it was never really worn because. The cashmere looks really crispy. And I know that we're going into spring, but I'm still gonna put it in my store. So it's 100% fine cashmere. Now this is a vintage Tommy Hilfiger. You know, I love to pick up men's vintage shirts and I love the vertical stripes. They just remind me of the 80s and 90s. And this one I was able to pick up for a dollar forty nine because yeah I the black was a dollar forty nine. Now the only thing is that there's a name here, so I'm gonna see if I can remove that. If not, I don't know. So I found Ralph Lauren a size extra large. I don't know if this was half off. Can't remember the color of the half off but it's just like a khaki but it has some little tiny tiny um is it just the texture might be the texture it has some texture to it so it's not like a simple it's nice and thick now i believe this might be eileen fisher maybe vintage because look at the label it looks different than the other eileen fisher that i picked up and it says size one and it's a rayon uh silk wool and nylon for $3.99 and it's kind of like like a it has no structure or lining but it looks kind of like a jacket kind of with pockets in the front it's a nice material okay let's see what else i got Okay, so this might be a mix of hard goods and stuffed animals. So I pick up stuffed animals because they do sell for me. So this one I picked up because it had it was new with tag. And stuffed animals are usually $1.99. So even if, even if I sell them for $10, I make a hell of a profit there. And I even found a pink Hello Kitty. This one is just pretty new. Look at the tag. So, and it's clean, uh, $1.99. So I'll be selling that one as well. My receipt. 
Now this one I got for a dollar forty nine. I've I've had my eye on it for a while. It's an old Liz Claiborne. The the label. I mean, it needs to be cleaned. I mean, I would dry clean this. But I just love the colors on it, and I think I got it for myself because. But I have a similar jacket, but I like the fit of this one. Look at the colors. Got to wait for a fall now, and it's made in Hungary. So it was it originally um, um, Goodwill wanted seven ninety nine, and I got it for a dollar forty nine. Now this one, I've been waiting for them to price it low, but I felt like I was gonna lose out on this. It's not something for me, but maybe I can make some good money. It is a Michael Kors. It's a snakeskin, I, I think snakes, snakeskin is still in, but it's like a bodycon dress and it goes, it's not a mini skirt, it goes, like down my shin so it, they always price it up at 9.99 and i'm trying to think if this color had any discounts i don't think so but i decided to get it it might have been half off then i picked this up because it is the my first anthropology that i find in the wild so it actually says anthropology. Uh, it was $3.99. So I thought I'd get it. It's a nice burnt orange color. It looks like it was hardly worn. Nice and crispy. I Now this is not my style, but I picked it up because it is a vineyard vines. So it's kind of like either it's a cover up or it could be worn as a dress. But it's going to be great for the summer. And it looks like it's new without tag because it has this. What are these things called? Like, I call them the hanging when I do my description to my item. And I, ha I find a lot of clothes with this. I call it the hanging uh, tag without the tag. And this was $5.99. So I picked it up. Now this one, I picked it up because it was $1.49 and I've been eyeing it for a while. I think this is an authentic uh, China dress, Chinese dress. It doesn't have a label. So I think it's authentic from that, from there. Cause I remember my mom used to buy stuff from China and they never came with tags. Uh, so it doesn't have a tag anywhere. Like it would have a size tag and that was it. So let me see. And it's a really nice, like if somebody likes to wear stuff like this. Oh, I see that there's a repair here. I'll, I'll disclose that in the listing. But for $1.49, it seems to be like an authentic Chinese. Has a little satin look to it red and black okay so i always look at the t-shirts when i'm there and i decided to pick this up because it was half off i believe so it was only a dollar because they priced it at a dollar 99 um 35 years of bon jovi so it's signed by them not actually signed but it seems to be a shirt that they had their 35th anniversary concert so I thought I'd, I'd take it for a dollar and see if anybody wants it. I didn't see any. I saw the 35 anniversary album is what I saw, but I didn't see um, the actual shirt. So if anybody's a fan, that would be a good purchase. So I bought this, it's my size. I actually found it in the men's department, but it's a Calvin Klein. And I realized, I think somebody might have put it there to hide it, but it was um, $1.49 and that's why I bought it. And it, since brown is very in right now, this is my size, so I will wear this. Actually, so it's one size bigger, but I tried it on and it was okay. 
and then I bought this for $1.49. So these colors are very in for this summer, like pastel. And this is made of silk. So if you have a wedding to go to or just take pictures or are on a, on a nice date. So this is silk. So, and the brand name is Donna Morgan. I've seen this brand on uh, at a TJ Maxx or um, Marshalls. So I got it for $1.49. So it looks brand new. There's no stains or anything. And I purchased these men's Sperry's. Because I thought they were in decent condition. They're pretty clean on the inside. And they were only $7.99. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, look at the bottom. And these are size 10 and a half. So maybe my husband might want them. Because um, I had size 10 Adidas that he wanted to keep. But for some reason, they were too tight on him. Maybe because they were like brand new. And usually with shoes, you have to kind of break them in. But he likes to complain. So. <laughs> and then I found these brass cranes. And cranes are very popular where I, where I live in Florida. And everybody has like something crane. So this might sell well in my area. So... I might do a uh, Facebook mar marketplace or still put it on eBay. They were $3.99 each, which I thought was too much. But let's see, for so $8. I'll try try to sell it for a little bit. Um maybe $25, $30. And there's a mark. It looks like these were made in Taiwan, has a vintage label. Okay, so I went in a rabbit, ra rabbit hole of stuffed animals and I went with my, um, I mean, my daughter who works at Target, she almost bought this and um, it come, it's new with tag and I couldn't believe that this thing looks brand new, like it doesn't smell, there's no stains. Somebody probably had it in a bag or something. But when I look at the year on it, it's from 2001. So this is considered vintage. It's 20 years old. And um, my uh, middle daughter also works in Target. She's, she just graduated to be a nurse, but she's still working at Target right now. And she told me that these are collectible. And since it's from 2001 and brand new, maybe I'll make some bank. But we'll see. I haven't looked at comps, but she told me that a lot of people collect the Target dog. Then um, I picked this up. It's a Build-A-Bear. I picked it up because it's very unusual. The shirt is a little dingy and has some wear. I'll probably just shave it. Uh, but it's a dinosaur. And from the tag, I can't see what year it is. I'm sure if I do a little investigating, I can figure it out. But, yeah, so I thought this was unusual, so I'll have to look it up. Of course, I'm going to see if I can wash them. I like to wash my bears and stuffed animals or whatever. I picked this up because it's jointed, and he feels like a good, substantial bear. Like, he's thick, and, and this was only $1.99. I think the Build-A-Bear was $1.99 as well. This was $2.99. This, it doesn't have a name on it. It is made in China. It says Ben Franklin Stores. So I just love the quality of it. So I'm going to see if I can sell it or I'll keep it because I love stuffed animals and dollies. I got this because of Easter, so I better get on the ball and put it on Facebook Marketplace. It was only $2.99, and it's pretty clean, and it's Minnie Mouse. Her tag even shows like it's like brand new. 
And let's see if it has a year. Luckily, she's clean because it says only surface cleaning. But yeah, she's pretty new. So I got to put her up for sale soon. Now, this one is in good condition. This is a vintage one. This is not a reproduction like they've come out. This is from the, let's see, according to the tag... It's from Tonka, and it's 1985, but it looks like somebody had it put away. It is in good condition. The puppy, what's it called? Pound puppies. So I'm loving the condition. I don't know if that was like a repair there, but it looks like the stitching that's here as well. But I only got it for $1.99. And I think that's the last of the stuff that I'm, at least in this bag. And then I picked up these shoes for $8. They're a pair of Nine West. They look like they've probably been worn once. It has a stacked heel. Look, they look comfortable to wear. Only paid $7.99, like I said. Let me see if they're leather. They're all man-made, but they feel really good quality. For maybe a party, a wedding. Then I found this. I might have paid too much for it, but it had good comps. Uh, maybe twenty dollars to twenty five dollars for these. It's a uh, like you can see the mechanics, like a grinder for pepper. You put the pepper in there, and it's from a company. I saw. It's not. I don't see it on here, but it's a company that makes these, and I got three. I paid three ninety nine. And I noticed that it's copper, but it's, you know, it's uh, a little, I guess it's maybe made made to look like that or maybe has wear. But yeah, I thought that was cool because you could see the, the way it turns and it grinds the pepper. But when I saw that they go for $25.30, I picked it up. Okay, more stuffed animals. <laughs> so I bought this Chihuahua because we have one. And it was only a dollar ninety nine, and it's new with the tag. And when I looked him up, um, they're selling for pretty good money, and he's like practically new. I don't know what year he's from. I don't know. It's it's Goffa plush, and they were going for decent money. Uh, I think it was between twenty five and thirty dollars. So I'm gonna sell him. Now, I got this one because it's a Build-A-Bear, but he is, I'm wondering if I already did a haul on this. He, it looks familiar that I, I, I don't know, I don't think so. Anyway, it's like a miniature version of the, the Build-A-Bear, like um, for some reason it's just like a smaller, so I'm thinking it was maybe one of the first Build-A-Bears that came out, because this one says 1997. I don't know when it first came out. So this might be something. Then I got one of these jointed TYs that look kind of old, vintage-y. $1.99. The tag doesn't say the year. Oh, yes, it does. It's $19.93. I love selling stuffed animals because you don't have to worry about anything breaking. I found this, I couldn't believe this, this is for me because I collect uh, green pottery to put, I have a little garden thing, like a ladder in my lanai, but I couldn't believe that for $3.99 I got McCoy at my local thrift shop or Goodwill. So that is mine. Then I found this afghan. Like I, I usually pick up afghans that have, um, you know, a design, but you know, diff different colors. But it does have a design, and it's pretty big and it's cozy. And so we'll see how it goes. If not, I could always keep it. So it, it's very well done. 
Okay, I see, I see a vase here. Oh, yeah, I picked this up because I do collect milk glass. Um, these days, I just pick up milk glass that is very unusual to me that I've never seen. So this is like a swirly milk glass. It's pretty heavy, good condition, has the, I don't know what this is called, the bubbles or I can't, beading. It doesn't have any signatures, so I don't know who made this, but I don't care. It's beautiful. $3.99. Okay, so I picked this up because I live in Florida and I'm pretty close to Siesta Key. And this is a good, good mug. Um, so it says Siesta Key footprints in the sand. And it says in the back, when times are tough or you're feeling blue, if you're not sure where you're headed to, remember the Lord. He will carry you. I thought it was a nice like, and it looks like a marbly stone, but it's like a pottery, good condition. And the mugs at, and originally it looks like it was sold for $9.99 at the gift shop. So I'll see how that goes. And my mugs at my Goodwill are a dollar unless they price it differently. This I bought for myself because I love that vest look. Ignore my cat. So this is from, I do, I'm not familiar with this name, Leonardo Gavino. Uh, it was only $1.99, that's why I took it. Um, it says it's a large, but it looks kind of small. And, and you know, it's always oversized. Um, when I buy these, so I thought, why not keep it? So I found this Harley Davidson shirt. Let's see if it might be vintage. It might be vintage because, oh, it's from 2005. It actually has the date on it. But I thought it was cool. It's in good condition, like barely worn. I can imagine. This is the kind of stuff I still find at the Harley Davidson. The only thing is that it has the name of the location. Like this one is from Claremont, Florida, which I'm actually not familiar with that. So it must be close. But for $3.99, I picked it up. Now I found Peter Millar, a men's shirt. And this actually, this shirt actually does well. Now I did pay up for this $7.99 and I took it because, because it's Peter Millar and it has an unusual, has motorcycles on it. So I decided to look it up and it does sell between $40 and $50. So score on that one. Here's another uh, Harley Davidson shirt that I found. Let me see if it has the date. This seems to be a newer one than the other one for $5.99. So this one doesn't have, you know, like a, a, a store name or anything. So it's this in the front and then this in the back. Harley Davidson Custom Speed. That that was a good a good pickup. Uh, it's a size medium. Let's see what else. I got more clothes. I picked this up because it looks brand new, like nobody wore it. And it's just a Disneyland sweatshirt from their anniversary. It says D like Disneyland. I don't know Disneyland. Let me see, I think there was a tag here, no. Disneyland res something reserve or resort, <laughs> 1955. Now I can tell sometimes when I look at sweatshirts, this is a hoodie by the way, you can tell when something, by looking at the inside, if it's pillowy, it's very used, this has no pillow pillowing at all. So I don't think this has ever been worn. Um, the tag says it's an extra large even the tag looks new it has this hanging thing that i told you the vinyl 
uh, hanging tag without the tag. $7.99 I did pay, but it might be worth it. I don't know. Might be able to sell it between $30, $35 maybe. Now this is cool. I found this. For any Oreo, Orioles fan, it's a vintage, what do you call these? Bomber jacket, satin bomber jacket. It's in really good condition. Like, I don't think anybody wore it. Like, the satin is crispy. Look at that. And I believe this is vintage. It's by Starter. It's a size small men's. And it was only $5.99. So I might make a good profit here. Now, I think I opened it. Yeah, even the inside is pretty good condition. I don't believe this is, oh, I did, this is why, I, this is why I thought it was vintage. Cause it's made in the USA. I don't know if Starter is still making things in the USA. This is the inside, it is like, brand new i think i'm gonna give it a wash because it has um some i guess from being in storage i, I can't find it right now it just had like a little bit of like a little mold but it looks like it's not there anymore i don't know that's what i saw at the place anyway I picked this up. Oh my god, it's been a while since I opened this bag because I got this. I think I got this before. Um, yeah, because when I went um, when I went thrifting with my kids, it was um, it was uh, St. Patrick's Day, and that's why we got like good deals. And I just thought this was hilarious. Now I gotta wait till next year to. Or I might just put it because it just says lucky. Um, it was only a dollar ninety nine. I think it might have been half off as well. And I think I saw other one other one like exactly like this. And I think they might have been selling it for twenty dollars. I don't know. I gotta do it my research. Cause sometimes when I pick up stuff, I do the research right there. And then I can't remember two weeks later what it's going on. I picked this up. I believe this is made in China. But I picked it up because it's adorable. It is a planter. I couldn't resist. A little panda bear. It doesn't sit, have anything in the bottom. But I believe it might be China. Made in China. It just has this 300 LP on it. And I think I looked it up and there was something similar online. And they had a China uh, stamp on it. Uh, this was $5.99. I'm tempted to keep it, but I don't have room for so many planters. I'm already overstuffing with the McCoy planter I'm planning on keeping. And whenever I see these, I pick these up. Paperweights. Look how nice that one. That's like a purplish blue. I know with the with the ring light, it's messing up the vision. Um, I only paid $2.99. There is a sticker in the bottom. It says Dynasty Gallery since 1951. And then it has very little writing in the bottom. So it's not Murano or anything like that, but I love it. So I'll probably be selling this because I have so many paperweights that I'm hanging on to. So I just picked up this at the last minute when we were leaving because I am intrigued by the Titanic and this is a life uh, version of it. Their books are a little expensive at $3.50, but I opened this and just the pictures, you know, the, the old time pictures and some of the you know, people that were on the ship, what actually happened. You saw actual pictures. So that's all, that's that, that's for me. Love, I love history. More stuffed animals. I find so many cool stuffed animals. So look at this. I love it. 
and it looks brand new. It's from Justice. If you have a little girl, you know what I'm talking about. This I paid up. Stuffed animals are usually $1.99. This was $3.99. But it has the tag. The Justice tag is pretty new. Don't think it's too old. But they had another stuffed animal there from Justice, but that one was not in the best condition. So I, I took this one. It's so cute. I got this for my daughter and I forgot to give it to her because she had one when she was a kid because we had a beagle. So I gotta ask her if she still wants it. Now, because the lamp lady picks up Betsy Johnson bags all the time, I'm picking up Betsy Johnson bags. But this is more like a wristlet, but it's a pretty big one. And it looks like it hasn't been used at all. Like it's pretty clean. So I don't know how much I can sell this for. I did pay $5.99 for it. Uh, it's in excellent condition. Maybe get 20 bucks. I'll still make a nice profit there. Oh, I got this one, Boo. Does anybody remember Boo? He was a personality uh, dog, Pomeranian. $1.99. I remember my daughter had one of these, and it's from Gun. So we'll see how good Boo does. I did see some comps that it does decent. Okay, so I bought these because they look brand new. The brand is not the greatest. It's Fergalicious. I remember I had a pair of Fergalicious in the early 2010s. But it was brand new. And the style is beautiful. I like this kind of style. I don't think it's my size. Let's see. It has a sticker in the bottom, but I don't... Oh, it's an eight and a half. So they're brand new. $7.99. Maybe I could sell them for $30. I'll see what comps. Um, it's not real leather, so that takes away the... I bought this belt for myself. It kind of reminded me of the one of the... Is it, is it Balenciaga? No, it's Bottega Bonera. They have a belt similar to this, except it goes kind of goes over like this. I wish it was black, but for $1.99, I thought, you know, I'll try it out. And it's, and it's leather. It doesn't have a name on it. It's just real leather. Whatever. And I believe, no, not yet. I thought it was the last. I got another Ralph Lauren Chaps. I thought it was really cute. I love this combination. I think it's called Tartan. Tartan, maybe? The blue and the blue the blue and the green but really nice sweater and it looks practically new like unworn what i call crispy and there's the chaps ralph lauren and the tag i paid 7.99 for this i think it was worth it and now the last thing finally and i can start what my daughter found found this my oldest daughter found it she went through the t-shirts and oh my god a vintage metallica shirt my younger daughter wanted to keep it and i said no it's mine because <laughs> because my oldest daughter brought it to me and i said i'm keeping it it was only a dollar 99 and i believe it's vintage so just by looking at the tag, as I stretch it out, because I don't know why I puckered up like that. It is by A Style. So I have to look that up. A Style, and I can't read the rest. This is all faded. It's 100% cotton, made in Mexico. It's a size small. Yes, made in Mexico. So everything's like just puckered up. So I have to look it up and see if it's worth. But I love the graphics. Look at that, Metallica. So I, I gotta see how much that would be, but there's no holes or anything. 
It just has that worn in look that everybody loves. Like you actually buy shirts this color. Okay, so that's it. I'm finally caught up with all of the thrifting I've been doing. I gotta cut down a little bit, put all this, um, list all this. Uh, got a lot to do, so I will see you next time for maybe something else. <laughs> I'll see you next time, and thank you for uh, for watching this haul, and um, I really appreciate you all. Bye for now.